Hello, today we're going to disassemble HP laptop. Uh, I think it's a uh, HP ProBook uh, 450G1. Uh, I gotta replace the thermal paste, so I decided to make a video. The first thing, of course, we're gonna remove the battery. To remove the back cover, you just push a little bit harder the lock mechanism for the battery and the cover is uh, coming up uh, after that we will remove the optical drive like this uh, there is a uh, two type of screws on this laptop uh, regular Phillips screws and I think the HP well, torque ones or I don't know exactly so basically the regular screws are on the keyboard and here on the the back under the battery so we will remove them first let's not forget the hard drive of course it's held by four screws Now we're gonna remove the screws under the optical drive. They are a little bit um, tinier than, than the, the screws here, which are under the battery, so you have to be careful. Now we're going to use a different screwdriver and start removing all the other screws. They're all the same size, so you shouldn't be worried. like this disconnect the cable here for the Wi-Fi uh, one more screw here like this let's check did we remove all the screws no we have one more here Now we're gonna turn the laptop upside down. The way to remove the keyboard is you just push the keyboard a little bit uh, down and just slide it back ways. After that use something sharp and just lift it like that. Be careful with the cable. Open it like this. After that we have uh, a few cables to unplug. For the power button, for the keyboard, for the keys here, for the Wi-Fi. And we have to disconnect the speakers. Now we have four screws here on this side we have to remove.
like this. Now to start separate the plastics, I try to show you. You start between the black and the gray plastic. Use something sharp, of course, like this. Do this all the to all the sides like this. Now on the other side, now put the laptop again like this, lift it a little bit, but be careful because. Here is the cable for the touchpad, so use your fingers or you can use uh, tweezers to disconnect the cable. Now that we have uh, access to the board, we have a few things to disconnect. The first thing of course is the LCD cable, just open the mechanism, after that we need to disconnect the look for the battery on this side now we have I think three or four screws to remove the first one is the the one for the optical drive on this side and two more I think like this lift the board a little bit and remove this after that just lift the board to be much easier for you you can also lift the power connector and lift the whole board with the connector it will be easier for you after that when you are reassembling the laptop now the only thing left is to remove the six screws which are holding the board and to disconnect the CPU fan like this uh, also you can use a smaller screwdriver and you can disassemble the whole fan so you can clean it better there's a four little screws which are holding the metal casing for the plastic once you remove it these things fell down also on this model you can remove the blades from the bottom you can uh, add a little machine oil in here and also clean the inside of the of the fan after that just reassemble on the reverse put all the screws back clean the old thermal paste with uh, some alcohol apply the new thermal paste and after that reassemble on the reverse basically that's the whole procedure i'll stop the video for now to clean everything and after that we're going to continue with the reassembly of the laptop so let's continue we apply the new thermal paste we're going to clean the old one from the cooler like this with a little alcohol and after that just Put back the cooler and tie the screws. Always double check the are the screws tied and well.
like this and we're gonna plug back the fan like this now before inserting the board back I advise you to first plug the, the battery connector because it will be much easier for you when you put the board because the connector you don't have a very good access to the connector just lock it like this and put the board back after that we're gonna put the screws we're gonna put back the connector here for the optical drive all the places we have to put the screws there is a white triangle so you can't put the screw on the wrong place now we put back the power connector and after that we're gonna put back the LCD cable, we're gonna connect it like this now we're gonna connect back the upper cover just be careful with the connector use your fingers or you can use uh, tweezers whatever is more comfortable to work for with like this and just lock it now first insert the left side because here is the the CPU Cooler grill and the VGA connector, so it will be much easier for you if you insert first this half. After that, just push. You should hear the clicking sounds like this. Now we're gonna put back the screws on this side. We're gonna plug back the speakers, the power button, of course. make sure that every cable is aligned properly so you don't have to open the laptop again now we're gonna insert the keyboard the keyboard cable is a little bit um, wider and it's a bit tricky to plug it back so make sure you plug it correctly the white line should be aligned very good with the with the connector and just click it like this after that insert the keyboard and push it all the way back first after that push it a little bit down and a little bit at front and it goes into its place now we have the upper case enclosed so we're gonna flip the laptop upside down and put the rest of the screws We're going to start with the hard drive.
we're gonna put the little screws under the optical drive just let me find them this is the first one and there's the second one after that we're gonna put the rest of the small screws under the battery like this we're going to insert back the optical drive and we're going to put the rest of the screws that's the boring part you can skip it if you like We're gonna put the screws on the keyboard, the regular ones, plus the one here for the optical drive. Like this, let me check. Yeah, everything is on its place. Now we have to put the back cover, just put it like this and slide it up front, it locks automatically. After that just insert the battery and double check everything. Basically that's the whole procedure, I gotta clean it a little bit on the outside right now. Hope you like the video, that's it for now, bye bye.